Hello again YouTube and welcome back to Just Get a Tesla. I am back at the harbour here in Gardenstown in Aberdeenshire and it is another absolutely glorious day. So let's go and explore a bit more of Aberdeenshire's coastal trail and the reason why I'm doing this is two reasons. One, very soon I'm going to be doing the North Coast 500 and I want to do a bit of filming practice of doing scenery and fantastic places and the second one is this is scenery and fantastic places and I know I've got an audience from all around the world and I live up here and this is beautiful and I thought you might want to come with me. Obviously we want to ease it uh, <laughs> off uh, this bit of harbour because I don't want to <laughs> fall straight off uh, into the water that wouldn't be good. If you haven't seen my uh, other video where I drove down the uh, seawall here the other part of the coastal trail video go and watch that one as well because <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find some more roads as well on this one because there are places that we can go which will be interesting so first of all we've got to get out of Gardenstown and back up the hill I do love it when people decide to walk on both sides of the car it's like come on guys <laughs> do me a favor so this is called new ground kind of gives it away on the name of the street doesn't it as to what this bit is and then up we go and it is kind of up 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 now uh, as we climb uh, up all of these mad switchbacks to get out of Gardenstown proper. And we're already uh, <laughs> we're already above roof line for the buildings on the bottom, and we haven't really got started yet. Again, this is really tight and really steep. Oh, and we actually scraped a little bit then. <laughs> oh dear me. Question for people. Do they put a kind of skid plate uh, on the bottom side of the uh, battery pack? Because I do scrape occasionally. Because it's a big fat, long thing. Hmm. springtime daffodil dillies and we're already climbing to an absolutely crazy height and we're still going and we've still got another couple of hairpins to come probably best close the window a little bit as we go faster so what we're going to do is we are going to follow not the official posted council coastal trail because I know a couple of little diversions and deviations off it which are worth uh, the trip so we're going to go past the red well at um, uh, Whiteheads is it Whiteheads White Wells whatever anyway um, the red well is supposed to be Roman which is uh, quite fun and then <laughs> down a road which is is kind of road but kind of footpath you'll see when we get there but before that I want to go to the old Kirk above Gardenstown and I'm not quite sure whether it's the right kind of road to be taking this car down. Let's put it that way. It might be a bit risky, but that's all part of the fun. So we are now on the road above Gardenstown and you go from having this nice broad sweeping B road to suddenly you start diving down and down and down with tighter and tighter twists. Nice boat parked at the house, right up on top of the cliff, as you can see in front of you. Um, but we are going to have a look at the old Kirkyard, which is down a track, is the best way I can describe the road. It is public access. I have been down it before, and I've seen people take normal cars down it, but I've only ever been down it in the Outlander. So it could be interesting with the emphasis on interesting. So we're gonna do it anyway, and I'm basically doing it for uh, you guys and because I'm curious, because when I first got this car, I wondered, would it go down it? But until now, I haven't even attempted it. So 
let's give it a go. So we cross the uh, little stream at the bottom and we start to climb up and then we are going to turn off almost immediately and go down here towards the old kirk and already I can see that that is an exciting change of gradient. I went over that okay. This is narrow. <laughs> this is definitely narrow but someone's brought a van down here. If you can get a van down here then you should be able to get this down here. But we're going to find out, aren't we? Do not park in passing places. Yeah, you're not kidding. Once you're on this, you basically have to do it to the end because there isn't really anywhere to turn around. So I am going to take this nice and steady. <laughs> Try and avoid the worst of the potholes, of which there are many, 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 many. God, a lot of potholes. But the view, I mean, I know I say, oh wow, look at the view quite often when I do these trips, but oh wow. And then you can start to see the village of Gardens Town. Obviously we've just come out of the harbour. But this really is just a gravel track. It's the twists on the bottom that I'm looking forward to the most. Because <laughs> we're about to nose dive. This is about as wide as the car. I mean, the seawall in Gardens Town is about as wide as the car. We've done that quite a few times, so I'm sure this will be fine as well. I reckon I might have to shunt round here because of my steering wheel lock issue, but we're going to go and follow all the way around the outside of it. Ah, that's all right, actually. That was fine. Ah, it's easy. <laughs> or something. This one's even tighter. So again, I'm following it around the edge, basically, uh, and then walking it up the other side. <laughs> this is not a usual kind of place to take a car like this. But that's all part of the fun, isn't it? and into the car park. So I'm going to go for a walk before I carry on and do any more videoing because it's an absolutely gorgeous day and the old Kirk is quite interesting. So I'm going to take the phone with me and then show you a wee little bit of that. And again, it's worth doing primarily because when I do the North Coast 500, I think you probably want to see some bits of the places I'm going to as well. So it's worth it for a bit of practice. So we've been walking for five minutes, no more than that. And that comes to St. John's Kirk. And if you don't know, Kirk is Scots for church, as you can probably tell. And this is a bit abandoned, but what a view. So that is Gardenstown, closest to us, as you can probably tell. And actually, if we go a bit further up, yes, you can see <laughs> the sea wall. So basically, down there where the cars are. So that's the car park at the end, and then you can see the seawall just running alongside the houses. It is quite stunning. And then beyond this, over there, get that to focus, we've got Crivy and its own crazy steep road and that hairpin, which again, we've been around in the car. And it's all here in this same bay with this amazing old church. Pretty, isn't it?
I'll leave that there so you can pause it if you want to have a read. Otherwise, it's very old and it's very ruined. And what of you? And the people from the village used to come here, obviously to worship, and they would have to walk up a path from the village along the beach <laughs> and then come back up again, which is um, must have made for an interesting route to and from church on a Sunday. Now, if I recall, some of these are really quite old. I think the oldest is inside here. Oh, there's some stones anyway that are... I mean, you can tell, this is old. It's also kind of broken. Uh, where were we? What date have we got on that? Again, I'll leave that so you can pause it, but um, yeah, not entirely sure. Uh, which one was it? I'm sure there was one that was like really, really, really old. That's AD 17 down here, AD 17 something. Can't quite tell. It's old. Oh, that's actually quite new, 1915. Okay. But you can tell, this was a little community church. Um, unfortunately, it's kind of in ruins now, which is a pity because it is just in this amazing, amazing location. Properly bouncy. Again, all the way around the outside. Oh, this is steep. You don't realise just how steep it is until you go in this way. Okay, this one's really big. Try and straddle it as best we can. Ugh. And then this one's ludicrous, this one. Absolutely potty. Walking pace over that. Yep. Bong. I think the only other potential pinch point is leaving this driveway at the top where I suspect it's going to be a bit of a exciting change of gradient shall we say so we'll try and line it up so we don't ground it probably be helpful and then you actually have to go the wrong way out uh, and then uh, do a u-turn I can't turn right here oh this is not going to be good oh that was all right actually that could have been a lot worse Oh dear God, right. Okay, so we're off that and we're gonna pull off onto here to do a Spinderella. Actually easing it on there as well. Okay. Good. <laughs> well, that was fun, wasn't it? So in essence, as long as you're careful, you can get uh, a big, wide, not enough ground clearance car like this down there without too much difficulty. Good. One quick oof, along the B road, and we're back onto the coastal A98 uh, as we drop down into Macduff, and then we cross the Deveron into Banff. amazing thing to look at when you've just got these houses and the sea behind them especially on a day like this when everything is so clear it's glorious and then you swing around the bend here and then you are looking across um, the river into uh, Banff and beyond and then I can see uh, the that long beach 
in front I've walked the whole length of that past the caravan site and then up towards the red well which I mentioned we're gonna uh, have a drive past so we're going all of that and then beyond of course because this is the coastal trail Renault Zoe yeah Aberdeenshire Council does run quite a few electric uh, vehicles like that one does get me though the um at least with the nissan leaf it's had a big facelift it's still the same car that they started building in 2011 but it has at least had a big facelift the zoe seems to be literally the same thing that's been built all of that time now i can't really complain about that considering that i'm in a tesla model y and the chances are that this is just going to keep it going and going and going uh, with a couple of minor tweaks um but it's still quite funny you just look at it and think ah oh, is that still going are they still making those so we've left uh, mcduff now and we're heading to the devon bridge uh, to cross into banff this bridge goes back to i think something like 1770 and it has been widened <laughs> although you'd never tell when you get onto it because it's a bit narrow it's fine if you're in a car less fine if you've got two trucks going at each other which does happen alarmingly often actually and you literally have to shove yourself as hard up against the curb as you dare and then trundle along the top there's not actually a line marked because it's that narrow oop ferrari that's too wide for on here and we're not going to follow the exact coastal trail like i said i know some wondery little bits so we're going to have a, a, a meander uh, up here and past the um, harbour in banff before we um, head out towards port soy but before we port soy the red well not sure how old this pink building is but it is properly old actually hang on it says ooh, 1675 that's old <laughs> that's really old and I love it when you get buildings that just stick out into the road like this which obviously significantly predate um, cars basically when they laid this place out cars didn't exist hell I suspect a lot of people didn't even have a horse and trap horse maybe again it's quite narrow for a big car like this but we get down it <sighs> we're at a quick stop to change the gopro battery not because it was flat because it was overheating GoPro buyers, <laughs> they're not good for shooting in 4K, they overheat. We're not going to go straight into White Hills, we are actually going to go <laughs> down the uh, beach road, past a thing called the Red Well, which is interesting. So it says, please drive slowly, this is a coastal path, and it is a path, but it's also a road. So, am I allowed to drive down here? Yes, I am. Am I going to drive down here? Yes, I am. It is a trundle, but that's fine. And you really do want to just walk it around some of these because you can't see a thing <laughs> and this thing um this thing here this thing here is the red well which it says is roman but i'm not entirely sure about that so there's a car park here at the bottom but you don't have to stay there you can carry on driving. Coastal path, drive slowly. Oh, I will. But it is a road, so I can drive it. It's 
So when it says coastal trail, <laughs> you can't really get more coastal than this. And it really does feel like a wide footpath because the car just about fits down it, but it's a road. We're back to sand dunes again. So having had a big um, load of cliffs and up and down, we're back to flat and sand. And I just find the, the differences in this coastline to be amazing. Boatyard. Yeah, let's make the map a bit bigger so that you can see. And then more boats. And then just when you think the road is narrow and twisty, uh, suddenly we dive off and it gets narrower and twistier. And I just think this is great. So we dive down here. <laughs> Unsuitable for heavy goods vehicles, it says. Um, yeah, it would be that. I do love these little single track, well, tracks. where you literally just waft uh, the car down them at not much above walking speed really and then you've got this really narrow and I'm sure quite old bridge which again we fit down I love the idea of taking an HEV down actually you know what that's quite tight it's not outrageously tight but it's a bit pinchy on that end the idea of taking an HGV down here or even trying <laughs> would be absolute complete madness <laughs> to my map, put the map back on straight. Oh good, we appear to have some insects flying around on my windscreen, on the inside. That's what happens when you have the window open. Hopefully everyone can hear properly. But what we are gonna do is go up here and we're gonna take a right, 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 and it's a dead end, but it's it's worth an explore. Again, another reason for me doing this now is that when I do the North Coast 500, there's going to be quite a lot of little dead ends to explore because that's kind of what it's all about. Let's go and find the interesting places and go and have an explore. I've just realized there is actually another way out of sand end so maybe we'll do that first of all let's open the window again and let some of that gorgeous scottish fresh air in it's 15 degrees so again we're just on a shelf <laughs> uh, with houses tightly packed into the road on the left and a drop down onto the beach uh, on the right. Ooh, is that a Mercedes what? EQC? EQA? I think it's an EQA. Hello doggy woggies. Thank you very much. absolute walking pace as we go around here <laughs> so a bit like in Pennon and Cullen these houses are all built end on and that's done so that when the weather is bad and the storm is throwing the sea at them basically they're not getting absolutely battered through their windows and so on now we're not going to go any further up because this is basically it so we're going to do a spinderella here Ooh, Nissan Leaf See, you can drive EVs wherever you want to. A loop. And then back again. Just to have a look, really. So, viewers across the world, 
Do you want to come and live here? Do you want to come and visit here? Let me know in the comments. Pretty spot. Another royal borough. But as the sign said, this is home to uh, Cullen Skink, which you ha if you haven't had it, is a kind of fish soup, and it is really nice. You might not think it sounds really nice, but it is really nice. So here's the first bit of the um, railway ride. So the railway line, I think, closed in 1968. And it would have been spectacular to ride because it is just all coastline. So it is a pity that it's gone, but it has gone. Um, but they have thankfully not demolished the viaducts, which, as you see in a minute, becomes almost a tourist attraction by itself. And this place is packed. I mean, okay, it's a beautiful Saturday um, in early spring, but there's a lot of people here. So there's a lot of ice cream and fish and chips being eaten, and, and also a lot of antique shops being gone in. But there is the bay, and wow. And then this dinosaur head thing on this cafe, which <laughs> is just mad. So the old railway is now up on an embankment uh, to our left. But here comes the, um, the bigger of the viaducts, which the road has to tuck itself through. And it is a wiggle. <laughs> it is now a big footpath up there, and you do get a spectacular view from uh, on top of the viaducts. So we're just going to go up here as far as the hotel in front of you there, and just basically stop, and you'll be able to see back along the bay. And that is it for this episode of Just Get A Tesla. And I cannot see a thing while I'm videoing this because the sun is so bright in my face, but I'm hopeful that you can see behind me just how beautiful a spot this is. And it's a fab hotel actually with a brilliant restaurant. So anyway, like and subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you very soon next time on Just Get A Tesla.